Aloha, people of the waves. Welcome back to Twangabanga. And I've been having some health issues, that's why I've been away for so long, but now I'm basically back again. And this is just a short, a quick video about flat wounds versus round wounds. So let's see what happens when you... I'm gonna be using this. It's a Dan Electro uh, Dead on 67. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, I will switch from 10s to 11s with, with a wounded third. And they're flat wound. I'll start by saying sorry if the guitar is not always perfectly in tune, but it's basically because it's not a very, very good guitar. It needs a setup uh, by now. And um, actually it stayed much better in tune with the flat wound. Um, and I think it's, yeah, actually I tune it down to D, uh, to D standard. And so yeah, it, it, it holds that much better with the flat wounds. So now it's completely up to you, isn't it? Just let me know in the comments if you can hear any differences at all. You're gonna hear the round wounds first, and then the same thing played with the flat wounds. And then at the end of this thing, you're gonna hear the same thing, but with some reverb. Because you're you're not gonna have anything, any effect on the guitar um, at first. Uh, not even not not even an amp simulator. I'm just taking the raw sound directly into my DAW, and uh, at the end it's the same. Uh, it's the same sound, but I actually used Amplitube with a, a twin uh, a twin amp as, as the amp simulator and on top of that some Fender 63 reverb. So, let's check it out!
Bye.